And I will say that time has showed us that the Christian community could have done this better. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I remember when my boys were growing up, uh, they had the whole move of I kiss dating goodbye. And, you know, I, I was like ready to jump on that. I was like, hey, hey, uh, if I did, send you, I did send them to a seminar. I didn't send you the other boys. Yeah, it was totally. But I mean, I was like, guys, don't date girls. So steal your money. You could get AIDS by kissing. I mean, I was like, I, I just full on said, I am going to terrify my children. And God was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You are not navigating this well. You are thinking, let's barricade my kids. And, and then one day, uh, magically we'll tell them about sex and then one day they can actually have it. And what I find in the scripture is very different. Uh, what you see in the Song of, Sol Song of Songs or Song of Solomon three times is a, a declaration of do not arouse or awaken love before it's time. Right. So what actually is a healthy way is it's not time. Not it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. And so we have just said it's not. And we need to say it's not time. And so what would be a good way is to actually have the mindset that you're going to train your children to be skillful with their sexuality. And when I was writing Kiss the Girls and Made Them Cry, I thought about the fairy tale of the girl that uh, is, I can't remember, is it, I can't, who, who has the spinning wheel one? Which one is that? Yeah, Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty, it wasn't Rapunzel, I almost said that. She had the spinning wheel and her parents were told when she was 15, she'd prick her finger and she'd fall asleep for a hundred years. And what they did is they made spinning wheels illegal. So the very first time her parents are away on her 15th birthday, which is why would you have done that? But the parents are away on her 15th birthday. She wanders into some tower, finds a spinning wheel, pricks her finger, and the whole castle goes on a hundred year curse. But here's the thing. It would have been so much wiser if they said, I'm going to show you how to navigate a spinning wheel. I'm going to show you how to ha be skillful with that. And so I think we've done a disservice to our children by not allowing them to understand how powerful our sexuality is and how to be skillful with it because we're stewards of something incredibly powerful. It's so powerful. It can actually create life. And so we've put fear around it and we all know fear is a horrible counselor. So well, I, I mean, I, the law arouses the desire for sin. That's absolutely. first Corinthians 15, 56. Yeah. So when you say, don't, 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 I'm going to kill you. If you do it there, you're going to arouse a desire. Yeah. But when you teach people the beauty and I, you always say this, so I'm going to bring it out. A nightmare doesn't deliver somebody. It's a dream.